G'day guys, how you going? My name is Dom, and today I think this is the first proper YouTube video on this channel. We do the great, fantastic, fairly lame podcast, one of the great podcasts of all time, but today I thought we'd do something different and do a, more of a genuine YouTube style video. A bit of a throwback, and thought I would start with the great carbon footprint estimate. So this one that we're using is, uh, I guess, run by the Nature Conservancy. I think there's a few different ones out there. And the reason that this came to me today in uh, 2022, because we're a bit late on the bus, uh, one of the videos that I made today uh, over on TikTok, at fairly lame underscore, uh, and on Instagram as well, we're looking at how, I guess, appropriate solar panels would be given your situation based on the amount of electricity you use, uh, the costs, how appropriate and how viable it actually is, given like, for example, I live uh, the ground story or ground floor of an apartment building facing south and I'm renting it to, so not too many options when it comes to solar power um, and that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be very interesting to dive back into the uh, carbon footprint estimate because I remember I did one during undergrad. I can't remember exactly what I got. I think it was around... 2.5 to 3 Earths, and for those of you who may be unfamiliar, you chuck in some basic information, uh, the link will be down below, uh, and it gives you how many Earths, uh, I guess, humans, humanity would require uh, if every single person lived the way you do. So, obviously, I think it's impossible to get one Earth uh, if you're living in Australia based on um, the electricity that we use. Um yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. I've definitely changed my lifestyle a lot since first year uh, of my uh, wildlife and conservation biology degree. Not sure how much uh, it will make a noticeable difference on my carbon footprint, but let's uh, have a look. So, uh, I'm living down in Melbourne. My postcode is 3142, I think. Uh, Turak. Is this only for America? State? Victoria? Is this only for... Ah, <laughs> uh, we might... <laughs> Sh why? Okay, give me a second. We've got to look for one that actually works in Australia. Carbon Positive Australia sounds familiar. Or, no, no, World... I think it's one of these. This one looks familiar. This one looks really familiar. Calculate now. Or, or, no, yeah, 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 it was, okay, scrap whatever I said about uh, the Nature Conservancy, the World Wildlife Fund, this is the one, because it gives you a date where you uh, would overshoot by, like each year, for example, if you got, uh, we we'll use my birthday, September 30th, if your overshoot day was September 30th, um, the amount of resources the year would have to end on September 30th to be able to sustain you. Uh, I believe that's how that works. So let's have a look. Uh, how often do you eat uh, animal-based products? Never, which is one of the big changes we've made since uh, back end of... I'm fresh too. I'm pretty fresh in the old veganism. I think uh, back end of 2022, Boxing Day. There's a bit of a story behind that, um, but let's not get into it. Uh, I mean, no, we don't need to do that. So, never. How much of the food that you eat is unprocessed, unpackaged, or locally grown? I don't know about locally grown. I mean, yeah, let's just do fresh and unpackaged. Let's have a think. Um, a fair bit would be unpacked. Oh, but I guess I have... I love hash browns. Hash browns in the morning, the best. Uh, and then also, like... I put mushrooms in a bag, in a paper bag, but still a bag. Uh, spinach comes in a plastic bag. Um, tofu, have a lot of tofu uh, and canned stuff. So, I don't know. Oh, maybe 50% unpackaged. A lot of it's fresh, though. A lot of it's fresh, but yeah, we'll go maybe 40. 40%. Oh, no, no. 50. 50%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll say 50. Locally grown, though. I'm not sure. I don't think most of it would be. A lot of it... Oh, wait, how... No, nah, or... I'm going to leave it at 30 just in case, because I don't think so. I'd know... 
Actually, I don't, I don't know if anything comes from Victoria. That's pretty bad. I should know that. Because there's even labels. If you go to the Great Woolworths, the fresh food people, they've even got labels and it says uh, proudly Victorian. But I've never paid attention to it. Until now, I've never, I've never thought about it. How much of the food that you eat is unprocessed? Un- oh, we just did that, eh? Um, which type of housing or which housing type best describes your home? Uh, I guess a flat unit. Oh, beauty. Mouse stopped working. Flat unit. Oh, yes. What material is your constructed with? Um, I guess bricking. Brick, brick. Good brick house. The wolf cannot blow us down. How many people live in your household? Two, so that's a two. Uh, what is the size of your house? Fucking tiny. I live in, this is literally a bunker. It's great. Like, I love this place. It's so nice. Um, we'll give you a bit of a, it's a dream. Um, oh, you just saw, anyway. Um, but yeah, it is very small. It is very small, which I guess is good for heating and cause it's thick, thick walls. Um, but apparently too thick. Some people next door were doing, uh, bathroom renovations today. And so all during the fucking TikTok videos, bang, bang, bang. And there was this smashed glass outside, but I've just noticed up in the corner of my roof, there's a massive crack that's come up now, um, which isn't ideal. Anyway, what's the size of your house? Uh, I don't want to... I'll, I'll take the screen off and I'll, I'll, just, I'll see if I can find my um, realestate.com listing. All right, because we want to be accurate, um, so I've found my listing. Jesus Christ, it looked very different before we moved in. Um Estimated, ooh, that's low. Anyway, land size, uh, oh, so we just have land size. We don't have actual house size. Surely you got house size. Year built, uh, bathrooms, car spaces, floor area, blank, okay. Uh, 82, I don't know if 82 is a lot. It is pretty small though, but I wouldn't call it tiny because we've got two bedrooms, a bathroom, a living area, and a kitchen, so maybe... Oh, no, nah, but it's not medium. It's, yeah, nah, we'll go small. I don't know. What was, we'll, okay, we'll just leave it there. I've got no clue, but it's not very big. Do you have electricity in your home? Yes, forever grateful. How energy efficient? Fuck all. The amount of electric, the, oh my God. So this place, because it's thick walls, it's an older building, um... And it's south facing. It stays a constant temperature. It's the best. Never have to heat it. Um, however, the hot water, the hot water system is literally the size of a kettle. It honestly, if you filled this up with hot water, that would be more hot water than we have. And so that means one shorter showers, which you think would be a good thing, but it's just constantly heating up more and more hot water because one person will have a shower. Uh, then it'll reheat the water because it runs out uh, before, you know. Can't even listen to, uh, I was going to say Stairway to Heaven, but that's eight minutes. Um, and then next person will have a shower when it's still like coldish and it's just constantly heating the water. So we pay heaps in electricity for two people. It's insane. Um, and yeah, literally don't know. It, it couldn't be anything besides uh, the hot water just constantly churning through. How energy, so for that, I'm going to say, like it is passive, Mostly, I mean, I've got a fan, but uh, vent- low electricity use, though. Careful use, climate controls, inefficient lighting, uh, poor... In- nah, but it's... Because it's just not low electricity. I'm going to say below below average, because it's not good for the size of the fucking thing. What percentage of your home's electricity comes from renewable sources? I don't think any but we offset it we offset it so it's all carbon neutral so we're all you know we're all going well um carbon neutral uh fairly lame studios is brought to you by uh carbon neutral energy all thanks to uh simple energy or some shit i don't know if it's renewable though actually i'm gonna go check have a, uh have a seat so i found an energy bill and i think this was one of the worst oh Oh, no, this was from 28th of October. So this is the most recent bill. Uh, 
So it says it shows you the amount of. I mean, uh, I don't think it is renewable, because we've um. We've it's all like like I said before, it's carbon neutral, um, like they offset the car uh, the greenhouse gas emissions, but there is a line saying like based on our consumption, what the greenhouse gas would be. So I assume that means that it's not uh, renewable energy. So let's just say none. Just worst case. Uh, compared to your neighbours, how much rubbish do you generate? Um, not too much. Oh, uh, 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 oh, is rubbish not considering in uh, recycling? So, yeah, oh shit. When it uh, what comes closest to your monthly new clothing, footwear, and or sporting goods purchases? Okay, we'll just do me personally because a housemate does like to dabble in the old ASOS and Nike, but I don't really buy much. Minimal to none, yeah, monthly. Um, how often do you purchase new household appliance? Never. Um, oh, I don't. Infrequently. Uh, electronics and gadgets don't really... When was the last gadget that I bought? Oh, I don't know. It could even... Oh, I don't even know. Probably fucking charger or something. So, yeah, infrequently. Yeah. Books and magazines. Books, not as much as I should. Probably once a month. If I don't get given them for free. Grateful. Hasht uh, shout out, Georgie. Uh, <laughs> Uh, mumsy. Um, I read most of the news online, borrow books, uh, occasionally. Every two weeks, we'll go occasionally. Yeah, we'll go occasionally. Uh, what comes closest to your annual uh, new household furnishing purchases? New bedding, a lamp, annual, uh, probably average. What's not bad? I haven't decorated, nah. Above average, a new couch. Yeah, average, average. We'll go bottom end of average. Uh, how much do you recycle? Some. What? Uh, I mean, some? Is it just half? Oh, I mean, we recycle all of it, I guess. Plastic. Not not as much as we should. I started doing the stuff plastic, uh, the bags. Like, if you're here in Australia, if you shop at the Woolworths, the Fresh Food People, the Woolworths, you can uh, bring all your plastic in... Uh, soft plastic bags and they take it off to red cycle and they turn it into like park benches and uh, stuff for roads that kind of stuff I used to do it and now I stopped I don't know why I stopped um, but we do recycle all of the hard plastic so I'm gonna say half just because it's hard and soft maybe no nah, we'll go less because I do, yeah we definitely use more soft plastic then compared to your neighbors yeah how far do you travel by car or motorcycle each week? I mean, I don't have a motorcycle. I wish... Nah, actually, I don't. Uh, I wish I had an electric bike, though. That'd be fun. How far do you travel by car each week? All right. Um, I mean, I go down to... Oh, 13. Let's just say 13 times 14. For, <laughs> for literally no reason. Uh... 182 Ks a week. That sounds... We'll just chuck it on 200 just in case. If I'm feeling a bit cheeky, want to treat myself, go to the beach. Okay, I can't. Two oh two. Two oh two. There we go. All right, we'll leave it there. 202 Ks each week. Um, yeah, sounds about right. What is the average fuel efficiency or fuel economy of the vehicles you use the most? I have no clue. Um, I think seven sounds about right or maybe six. Because I'm in the city though. I'll say seven just in case. Oh, but it's a little car. It's a Lancer. No, we'll go six. We'll go six. When you travel by car, how often do you carpool infrequently? Literally just to golf and... Golf, or like, just to sound super fucking Melbourne, a warehouse sale if there's like vintage clothes and a few of the guys going, um, or sport if there's, yeah, so never, infrequently, we'll say infrequently, we'll go 25%, oh, no, nah, but it's not, it's not a quarter of the time, 20%, 15%, we'll say, 15 probably more honest, and you know what they say, honesty is the best policy, 
Um, how far do you travel on public transport? Very little. I tried to, and that's a shit reason. That is so shit. Like, fuck, you tried. Uh, I was, so I'm in Turak and I was catching down in Melbourne and I was catching the tram out to Burwood at to, uh, Deakin University and it was just the time and I could work, like there was stuff I could do on the tram, um, like for example, I could research for TikTok videos, stuff like that, I could even edit graphics potentially, um, but yeah, just because it had to be two trams or a tram, a train and a tram. I don't know. I didn't really like working on trams. If it was a train, maybe something different. But yeah, I did that like once a week and it took it it took the daily commute. Again, these are all shit reasons, I understand. Um, it took the daily trip out to Deakin from 30 minutes up to closer. Closer to around an hour and a half. An hour, hour and a half, depending on traffic. Um, and yeah, on the way there, it wasn't bad. But on the way back home after a long day when you just want to get into some uh, splendid TikTok creation... Uh, yeah, it wasn't the most fun. So yeah, not far. I take it whenever I'm going into the city, always take the train. Um, and yeah, but hey, when we open Fairly Lame Studios in uh, 2024, we'll make it near a train station. We'll say each week it's going to be fucking like, yeah, we'll say like three Ks. We'll say three or oh, improve. But uh, yeah, three Ks. How many hours do you fly each year? So we booked a bit of a boys trip over New Year's Eve. We're going up to Sydney. And I realized I haven't been on a plane since 2018, middle of 2018. Uh, so I don't know what a plane looks like anymore. So we'll leave that at zero. Zero Earths. 3.5 Earths. Fuck. I, oh my Lord, that is bad. That is fucked. Why can't I get my foot? Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, why can't we? Um, can we, a, <laughs> come on, a person's ecological footprint includes both personal and societal impacts. The footprint associated with food, mobility, and goods is easier for you to di directly influence through lifestyle choices. However, a person's footprint also includes societal impacts or services, such as government assistance, roads and infrastructure, uh, public services, and the country's military. <laughs> All citizens are allocated their fair share, or their share rather, of these societal impacts. This is why, if we want to achieve sustainability, we need to focus on both our own lifestyle as well as influencing our governments. Jesus. So, <laughs> fuck. If everyone lived like you, Earth Overshoot Day would be on this day, April 15th. This means by this date, we would have used as much from nature as Earth can renew in the entire year. Uh, in 2020, uh, Earth Overshoot Day for Humanity was uh, uh, August 22. So I'm worse than the rest of humanity. I wonder where I stack up in regards to the rest of Australia. So my carbon footprint in, I don't know, how does that work? By land type. How is carbon footprint a land type? Anyway, fishing grounds. I don't know why fishing grounds are there. Oh, they're not there. They're not there. <laughs> they're, not, they're not there, don't <laughs> Cropland, okay. Forest products, built environment. Gra no, so I don't have any grazing land, no fishing grounds, which is uh, as expected. My ecological footprint, footprint uh, 5.7 global hectares, 12.7 tonnes of CO2 emissions each year. And most of my consumption... Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. Most of my consumption is definitely this bunker. Uh, it doesn't have reception. Um, doesn't see any sunlight. But the amount of electricity this thing pumps through is insane. So I reckon that's pretty accurate. Um, it did shock me. How do I feel? Fucking shit. <laughs> Worried, helpless. Can I scroll down? Shocked. Shocked. No, I'll need help. Tell me what to do. Yes, I know. I don't know. Explore my data. Um, results in your country. Okay. Oh, wait. 2013. Uh, I don't know why this looks so shit. Anyway. Facts and figures. Summary. How do I feel? Solutions. What are the solutions? Energy. Renewable energy. Uh, take transit. 
uh, transit, bicycle, uh, or walk instead. Um, smart urban planning. So, yeah, geez, I think I've exposed myself. I did not expect that. Three point, what was it? 3.5 Earths. Um, Jesus. So, okay, so not that, not that it matters because this is still pretty shit. Uh, so the average number of Earths for America is five. Germany is 3.2. Germany surprised me. I thought Germany would have been pretty good. Uh, China, t- China only 2.1 Earths. Fuck. South Africa, two Earths. Brazil, 1.8. Data. Let's have a look. Where's Australia? Um, countries with, uh, what do we, I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, total ecological footprint. Why does this look so shit? Uh, biodiversity. Anyway, anyway, we're going off into the weeds. Um, but yeah, highly recommend checking out <laughs> the World Wildlife Fund's uh, Global Footprint Network. Uh, it's very shocking, very shocking. I thought I was doing much better than that, especially with not eating any uh, animal products. I I don't know. Maybe. I overshot some some of the details in terms of energy efficiency or whatever, um, and especially with my purchasing, I've fucking bought now, like literally down here zero point two global hectares for goods, fuck all for services, bit of a mobility. Oh, only oh, so okay, not much for food either. But yeah, it's literally just this place, which makes me feel a bit better because that is kind of what I was expecting. Anyway, this was the first. Uh, yeah, YouTube style video on the channel. We'll have a couple more coming out. I might do, I want to start doing some beach cleanups. We've bought the stuff to make a, like a sieve, a little homemade sieve to sand out the, the finer plastics. We're not going to be able to get microplastics, but some of the smaller plastic chips we, uh, should be able to collect. Um, so yeah, make a couple videos about that. And also cooking. Some cooking videos are coming to the channel. I've got to figure out the lighting, uh, cause it is pretty average in here. We've got this very orange light, not very orange light, but it's not white, um, and it just makes food look pretty average. So we'll sort that out, but make sure to like and subscribe and follow over on TikTok and Instagram at fairlylame underscore, um, mainly Instagram, to be honest, if you're watching this, because we post a reel, but we also post uh, the top news stories, all feel good, all feel good news stories every single day. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. My name is Dom, and this has been another production <laughs> there's been another production of fairly lame studios i don't know if i'm gonna keep that i reckon that's a bit shit but hey manifest you gotta manifest <laughs>